Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Miss Andrea. I'm a dance studio owner and a dance teacher. And today's video is all about how to make a dance solo great. Whether you're doing a dance solo for a dance competition, recital, or an audition, these next steps are a great way to make the dance solo awesome. Cause let's be real, when you're on stage alone, you wanna look your very best. Step one, pick a style. Have fun with this. Whether it be jazz, tap, lyrical, hip hop, there's so many options. I think it's really important to pick a style that's gonna show your personality and that you're gonna have a lot of fun with. You don't necessarily have to pick a style that you're just amazing at because after all, we're dancers and you wanna grow. For example, maybe you wanna get crazy with it and do like a musical theater solo, but you've never done it before. I think that's okay, especially if you know you're gonna enjoy it, have a fun time doing it, and it's gonna make you have a really big and firm personality on stage. Don't always just pick a style based on what you're good at. Pick a style based on what's gonna show a lot of personality and make you have a fun time on stage. Step two, time to pick a song. So whether you're a dance teacher, the choreographer, or whoever's helping you do the solos, the one picking the song for you, I think it's very important that the song matches the tone of the dance, the story, and the overall vibe. The music is so important because that's what we're going to connect to the most. So make sure you pick a song that adds value to what the storyline of the dance is going to be. My dancers never know their music. Some of them don't even know the song at all, but by the end of the whole process, they absolutely love it. So a nice tip is whether you know the song or not, kind of study it a little, try to figure out the meaning of it, or kind of maybe ask the choreographer, how is this song helping with the piece or what's the storyline with it? So you could help bring it to life. But definitely make sure it adds value to the dance because the music's really important and it's a great way to help connect to the audience. Step three, time for the choreography. The choreography should complement the dancer and make the dancer shine on stage. Be sure to only add moves that's gonna really make them look amazing and also make them feel comfortable. Now it's definitely okay to add some things that the dancer may not have yet. For example, if they don't have a great kick, but you still want to put it, it's something they could work towards. Something I do for my dancers is sometimes I add some skills in there and after a certain period of time, maybe like a few weeks or months, if they still haven't improved on that skill set, then we'll take it out because at the end I want them to look great. But let's not take away and not put in things because they don't have it on the spot. You could work towards all those things that are going to make you great and once again make you grow as a dancer. But definitely make sure you're focusing on moves and highlighting the strengths of the dancer. If the dancer's an awesome turner, let's add some turns. If the dancer's great at some certain movement, we want to add that too. Again, this choreography should make you shine on stage. Step four, the one thing we hear all the time. Less tricks, more dance. And I get it and I actually agree with it too, but I really believe in finding a healthy balance between the two. After all dancers, we want to show off the skills that we work so hard in class for. So it's okay to add those awesome jumps and turns and kicks and extensions. We're dancers after all, we work hard to get that. But it shouldn't be taking away and making up your whole solo. So I think it's perfect to find a healthy balance, right? Maybe we'll do a little bit of tricks here and add some movement there. But a good balance I think is perfect to make the solo awesome and to help you shine on stage. Step five, practice, practice, practice. You are responsible for your solo. I think solos are amazing, but if you decided to take on that role of being a soloist, take responsibility for it. You gotta be in charge of practicing and rehearsing for it to make sure it's ready to hit the stage. Doing it once at the studio or once when you learn it is not gonna be enough. I tell my dancers you should find some time at least once a day just to run it, whether it be for muscle memory or just to improve those skill sets that you're trying to get better at. But practice your solo because that's the only way it's gonna look amazing by the time it hits the stage. Also, let's be real, we get pretty nervous when you hit the stage, so practicing it over and over is gonna kick in that muscle memory that you're gonna really appreciate when you hit that stage and those nerves are really setting in. So practice and rehearse your solos, dancers. It's so important. Lastly, and most importantly, have fun with it, love it, feel it, and bring it to life. It's now your job to make this solo beautiful and to bring that performance to life. What do you want the audience to feel after they see you dancing? How do you want to feel? What story, what tone are you setting on that stage? It is your job now to help us understand what you're trying to dance and make sure you're enjoying the process. It goes by so fast and you want to have a piece of work that you're really proud of at the end. So don't forget to enjoy this whole thing and have fun with it. Solos are a big deal, they're a big responsibility, but they're also so rewarding and there's nothing better than that sense of pride when you get off the stage and you're like, I did that and I had a great time doing it. So don't forget to enjoy it all because it really is a fun process. 
And now you're officially ready to get your dance solo started. I hope this video helped you out. If you liked the video and you want to see more just like it, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. If you have some tips that you think are really helpful to make a dance solo great, please be sure to comment so we can help each other out. I love helping out the dance community and I can't wait to be making more of these videos. See you for the next one. Bye!